हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम चेतन बोला एंड यू आर वॉचिंग बोला मैक्स टूडे वट आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज ऑल अबाउट द मल्टीप्लेट क्लच तो कमिंग टू द कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द मल्टीप्लेट क्लच सो देर आर सो मेनी ऑफ द क्लच प्लेट्स दैट आर हेयर सो दीज आर द क्लच प्लेट्स दैट आई हैव डिनोटेड बाय दिस लाइंस सो फ्रॉम वन साइड दिस क्लच प्लेट असेंबली इज कनेक्टेड टू द इंजन एंड टू द अदर साइड टू द ट्रांसमिशन सो व्हेन द क्रैंक शाफ्ट रोटेट्स सो दिस शाफ्ट रोटेट्स एंड ड्यू टू द फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन दीस प्लेट्स द पावर इज ट्रांसमिटेड टू द ट्रांसमिशन शाफ्ट सो कमिंग टू द पार्ट्स कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द ऑफ दिस क्लच प्लेट असेंबली so this is one side of this clutch plate that is connected to the transmission shaft so, so i am going to show you over here so this is the part that i am showing you over here so this this is the hole in which the shaft is going to fit and this is the space for the key and the transmission shaft will come inside this after that this is the another side of the multiple clutch which is connected to the flywheel and when the flywheel rotates this uh, and when the flywheel rotates this part uh, and when the flywheel rotates this side of the clutch plate starts rotating so this part is uh, so this is the actual part and this these are the gears which are connected to the flywheel gear so when the flywheel rotates this gear rotates and this part of the clutch rotates so these are the clutch plates that are mounted to the flywheel so this is the actual clutch plate so these have the frictional surface over here so which are going to produce some friction and some grip between the different plates so the power can be transmitted and now this is another clutch plate which is going to be connected to to that side of the clutch plate which is connected to the transmission shaft so this is the clutch plate which is connected to that so there are several grooves in it which will be fitted in those grooves and just lock it with the transmission shaft so these are the clutch plate now coming the whole assembly of this first of all one side taking one side that is the flywheel side and placing a clutch plate friction plate and then placing another clutch plate of another type which will be connected to the another part so this is the clutch plate which is connected like this so this clutch plate is fixed with this part and that clutch plate that i have placed previously will be connected to the other side of this clutch this is the whole assembly that is going to be look like this there are several clutch plates you can see that are alternate clutch plates and now this part is connected to the flywheel and this part that is the internal shaft is connected to the transmission so for lo locking this flywheel and this transmission shaft you need to make some medium so that they can get connected so for for that they just places so for that they just place some clutch plates when these clutch plates are locked that is the force is applied between these clutch plates so due to the friction of these clutch plates these clutch plates gets locked and due to which these two different parts get locked and the power is transmitted now now when the force is applied to these clutch plates due to the friction between these clutch plates so these two different parts get locked with each other and hence the power is transmitted so when you just uh, press the clutch plate what happens is the force that is acting on these clutch plates for transmitting the power just reduced and these this flywheel can rotate freely now what happens when you just release the clutch plate these clutch plates gets again locked and the power transmission is continuing this is the diagrammatic assembly in which these are the plates so these are the bolts that are fixed over here i don't have those bolts in my assembly so what happens is this side is connected to the transmission shaft and this side is connected to the engine now what happens when it presses this pedal so due to the cantilever type arrangement this comes outwards now when this comes outward these springs get compressed and the spacing between these plates increases so due to the introduction of the space between these plates the friction disappears 
and both of these oppos uh, so and both of these parts can rotate freely according to their rpm but when you just release this pedal what happens is due to the spring force this assembly contracts and applies some force this spring force applies some force on these clutch pedals and due to the friction between these two uh, and due to the friction between these clutch plates these clutch plates gets locked due to which this part and this part get locked and what happens is the rpm of the engine and the torque produced by the engine is transferred through these clutch plates to this side of the clutch plate and then to the transmission shaft and then to the transmission and then to the wheels so this is how multiplet clutches work so i think this is all clear to you if you still have any doubts and any queries you can please 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 ask me in the comment section below if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please 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 subscribe it at this moment if you like this video please share it to your friends so that they can also understand how multiplet clutches work don't forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot guys for watching my video keep sharing keep watching and keep supporting thanks a lot guys